Hello, my peeps. Tracy here, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher. I am here today with tips and tricks. Quick video just to show you. As I was going along, I thought, this is worth sharing. So you see when you get your DSP, and you have fun patterns like this with little critters on them, but along the edges of the paper, sometimes the guys are slightly cut off. No need to waste those guys. The trick, see, see what I did there? The trick is to tie it back in to your card and make it intentional. So here's one of my cards. Absolutely love these bears. I've been playing for hours. I could show you 50 different samples I've made of them for in, in, in advance of the event because, oh my goodness, I'm having so much fun. So there's the front of the card. And there's this little dude in the corner here. He's cut off, but I've just intentionally added a little bit extra behind him. And now it looks like it matches the front of the card. We got this dude. You know, because polar bears frolicking in presents makes complete sense. Um, and I've got this little guy, this, that's this guy here, is just walking off. He's had enough frolicking. He's, he's on his way out the door now. Uh, who doesn't love a good bear butt? Even, even when I'm using stamp sets, if I have critters in them, lots of times I'll just have like their nose peeking in or their butt peeking out. Or they'll be like walking one way on one side and coming out the other side somewhere. It's just fun. And it just looks intentional. Uh, that same card with the, with the presents on the front, I cut it all apart with the intention of hiding the bottom of the bear that was missing. And then when I actually went to do the card, I realized that the piece I was thinking about was actually just the bottom and not the top. So I just used a full piece on this one because headless bear, that might be pushing it too far. But anyways, there's the, there's the pile of presents. And then this big guy is from, from I got too much stuff on my desk. There we go. It's from the bottom of the sheet, and he's just walking on through. Mind of his business, don't mind me. But he looks like he's there on purpose. You don't want to take the whole card up, because you need space to rake. Uh, so, same idea. This card, but instead of having the bear walk off here, this bear happens to be going the other direction. That's this one down here in the corner. So, there's no rule that says you have to put all your decoration on this side. You can put it on this side. And then he's got a cute little buddy to boot. Right? So that works. Now, sometimes it's not just the edge piece that causes the grief. Um, this pattern on the back side is this lovely Nordic sweater in blues. Um, and I had cut a strip off of that to make a different card and then realized I cut off part of my tree. Did I throw it away? No. Did I make another card with it? Yeah. And again, it's I guess the trick is to make it intentional. So I've used my decal circle and I shifted it over and trimmed off a part of the circle so it's not fully a circle and just offset everything. I'm a little off to begin with, so this this is me uh, in card form, I guess. But yeah, I love this card. And I took this little guy who shows up on the front as well, but that's just coincidence, really. <laughs> um, I took this little guy that shows up here, I just popped him in the corner. And he just looks like he's carrying on from the rest from the front of the card. Now, piece de resistance. I used two half pieces. So we got this dude here, and we got his butt over here. And on my little gift box that I made, Oops, get me in there. There's the front of them. There's the back of them. So I just put, I trimmed this piece down, actually. Put it there. But because I was just using the butt half, I actually took the scarf. And I don't know if you can see that. Nope, can't. Oh, there we go. I took the scarf and I put it over top. So I've actually got like a little flip-up scarf over top. So it's a little bit of extra dimension. So we've got his butt on one piece and his front on the other piece. Right? No wasted. Use all the bits and pieces. Just because it's missing a little bit doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. You can still make it work. Thanks for joining me for Tracy's Tips and Tricks. See you again. Have a great day. Bye.